Good morning, good afternoon, hello and welcome to day 29 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, thank you for following me so far. If it's your first day and you're watching this video for the first time, then great. Um, why don't I have a look at all the other playlists and the thing with this, you can start and you can come in and you can do whatever you want when you want to do it really. Um, so I hope uh, things are okay with you and moving forward. Today what I want to talk about is building healthy boundaries. And what I mean by that is, is that there's a lot of ex times we've had experiences or where, you know, people, we've let people in too close on times or we've let things affect us too much. And, and where do we start and where do we stop? And, you know, a lot of people who will be watching this will be watching it because you are naturally an empath. You're somebody who is very empathetic, who is very caring and you seem to give a lot out, but not always get something back. But that's OK, because that's what we do. And, and when we do that, that's what we do. So <clears throat> what I want to say today is about getting some of these healthy, building healthy and purposeful boundaries. And and we're going to do um, a guided meditation whereby, you know, we want us to think about how we can, you know, create the right sort of boundaries. And when you make a healthy boundary for, for yourself, things that sometimes may have hurt you in the past um, will not be able to reach or hurt you anymore. Boundaries give us, you know, providing uh, some really essential um, uh, life um, uh, clarity and purpose. So what I want to do today is we're going to get straight into um, into a guided meditation. And that guided meditation is going to be looking at how we can start to create some of these boundaries and how we can use them. And it gives to us, uh, and it, it can help us provide a lot of essential things that we need us around us at the moment. So what I want you to do, and as always, I'm going to put a picture up. And I want you now to um, as we always do, um, we're just going to breathe together, okay? I want us to take in five deep breaths so we can oxygenate our whole body and through our whole system. So let's take a deep breath in. Hold it for two seconds and breathe out. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for two seconds and breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Hold it for two seconds and breathe out. Take another deep breath in, hold it for two seconds and breathe out. And finally, the fifth breath, just take a large deep breath in. Feel it oxygenating our whole body and breathe out. And as you feel the weight of your body now, I, I want for you again to understand how it presses down on the chair or on the bed and, and just make sure that your your spine and your posture, and you can move about if you want, is completely straight and your posture sort of ex gives you that feeling of being here in the moment and being confident. And with our eyes closed, we now have this increasing ability to focus. And as you breath easily and gently, you feel safe and re relaxed as you breathe. Just Find your own natural breathing rhythm. Feel safe and feel relaxed. And as always, my voice in many ways is guiding you. It's like a, it's like a, a beacon of light in the distance through the darkness. Now, I just want you to imagine that you're in this beautiful space and as the sun rises, you're standing in this beautiful, lush, green grass. And in the middle, there's a small house. And this small house has been built by hand and it's been built by hand by you and it sits in the middle of this beautiful green area. this house represents you and all the work that you put into yourself and the grass represents the world outside and you decided that it would be good to plant some trees and some shrubs so that plants would aid in protecting you from any harm or difficult situations or emotions and also they would benefit the world for example what about a raspberry bush it's very spiky and dense yet it gives bounty of fruits for us to enjoy and for us to nourish from. And if you plant many in a row, 
will protect us as give us an, a, a tall electric fence type plant it gives you that protection it serves two purposes it can give you that boundary but also it can give you the beautiful fruit and when you plant all your trees tall trees they will protect us also from the harsh winds if they're placed in the right way it can grow and protect you through all seasons and these tall trees supply us with oxygen therefore again giving us protection and benefit us in many ways the trees also serve many purpose here you look at this beautiful light force that you're planting on your land and notice that they need water you need water source you find the lowest lying area and I want you to begin digging digging down around the shape of a small pond and as you step back from the circle of dirt you've created you know now that only a few heavy rains need to pour down and it will begin to fill and turn into a natural source of water we know this pond serves many purposes for your land it only provides you and wildlife with water but it also gives you somewhere to go somewhere to meditate and reflect on the things in your life and for the good things that you do for others. Closer to your house you need some vegetables and fruits so create a garden that's easy for you to access and the water when necessary. I want you to plant around this house in your mind all of the fruits that you like and any kind of vegetables that you need also. Your garden flourishes and provides. All this garden needs from you is love, care and to be tended for. And as you look around you see, you know, you could really do with an orchard. So strategically plant many apple trees and other fruiting trees right next to the protected area by the big trees and a little closer to the pond so that they can get their water and they can drink. And as you see now, this orchard supplies you with the most delicious apples you've ever tasted and their nutrients and their flavors and tastes as you take one and bite into it, gives you this beautiful taste, sensation, nourishment, and necessary vitamins and as you stand in your field in a plot of land with the apple in your hand and all the things growing and the pond filling you feel this great great deep sense of pride how proud you are to have cultivated this beautiful green special place Not only do all the plants, the trees, they protect you and your home, but they give to you and the community around them. So make sure you work on the garden within, within you, and put up proper barriers that if planted well and with love and care, they will also give. You are protected and you will be allowed to lead a very happy, spiritual, healthy life. Just like you've built in this beautiful gray green area, you can build in your life too. Look at the land again around you. Look at your hand-built home. And think to yourself, what changes could I make? What things could I do? You've built a very special space. And you're an excellent builder, after all. I just want you for a few moments just to, in your mind's eye, go and sit by the pond, by the pool of water. And as you sit there, I just want you to focus on 
your own boundaries. Focus on the areas and the lines where you feel comfortable. And know that these boundaries will serve you well. Just sit by the pond now and just focus on your breath from moment to moment. And spend some quality time in this beautiful spiritual space. With all the green, the plants, the trees, all around you, all created by you and the amazing work that you've done with your inner self. Listen to the sounds and the noises and the birds around you. Feel the beautiful warm sunlight on your face. Be in the moment. And if anything arises, or anything emotions or thoughts come in, just hold them with loving kindness and be aware of them. And just watch them dissipate. Focus back on being in this wonderful green, luscious land sat next to a beautiful pond. So I want you to take a deep breath in and as you do bring your awareness and your focus back to your chair, back to where you are. ready slowly open your eyes and wiggle your fingers and come back you see boundaries are important because it sets where our values are and where our um, lines are and that we shouldn't cross some of those boundaries and some people shouldn't cross our boundaries but if we can work within like we just did and plant all of these beautiful green things that can protect us and nourish us, these boundaries can help as well. And it's hard to think of boundaries at the moment because of everything that's going on, but this mindfulness challenge, this mindfulness course, whatever we would like to call it, is here to help you, give you the tools that you need, the mechanisms you need to be your best self, from moment to moment, from breath to breath. And I hope when you woke up this morning, you put your hand on your chest and you said, good morning, Julian, I love you. Your hand on your heart. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, be love and give love. Thank you very much, bye-bye.